just lift up our hands and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords who has made us to see another Thursday in the month of April 2020 is special and a unique year and April a unique month let's give him praise let's worship him for protecting us providing for us keeping us safe and sound thousands are falling many have been buried but Jesus has kept you and I and has made it to see another Thursday give him praise he has rolled away the stone of death he has rolled away the stone of coronavirus he has rolled away the stone of sickness Lord we give you praise we worship you Lord you are worthy to be praised in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. father we thank you this morning thank you, Lord. Lord we worship you Hallelujah. thank you for the opportunity for another Thursday in the month of April you told them at the tomb of Lazarus you said take ye away the stone thank you Jesus because either the devil likes it or not the stone of coronavirus all over the world shall be taken away in the name of Jesus Amen. your word say it shall come to pass we declare today that this plague shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare concerning everyone affected and infected now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for Nigeria. And I declare that as the Lord liveth, the evil expectations of the old world concerning this country that we should die in our millions concerning this plague shall not stand in the name of Jesus Amen. the Lord is for us and he will ever be with us oh, yes. and even for us in the name of Jesus Amen. thank you father thank you, Lord. in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. somebody shout hallelujah Jam your hands together as you have your seat this morning. We started prayers and teaching on take ye away the stone. That was the decree of Jesus at the tomb of Lazarus. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. And I told us in the previous teaching that by implication, this stone suggests a lot of things. It suggests entrance, closed gate, closed door, block fallopian tube, block destiny, destiny under the weight of satanic attack. But Jesus said, check here away the stone. That is to say, no matter anything that is standing as hindrance between you and I shall be rolled away in the name of Jesus. Amen. So this morning we are looking at take ye away the stone of evil decrees. It is my duty and your duty to make decrees it is my duty and your duty also to revoke certain decrees because it is not only the child or the children of God that can make decrees people in the satanic world also 
they also make decrees against situations, against man, against woman, against children. What is a decree? It's an official command or an official order establishing a thing in a militant way. An official order an official command establishing a thing in a militant way backed up by the power either of government or a spiritual power or a kingdom that is a decree so we can have godly decrees and we can have satanic decrees but this money we are looking at taking away the stone of evil decrees i want to establish it to you this morning that you have been ordained as a child of god to revoke any kind of evil decree in colossians chapter 2 verse 14 the bible said blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to the cross that means we have the responsibility we have the power to blot out every and writing of ordinances that is against us which could be contrary to the plan of God for our lives. So you have the power to revoke and to take away every stone of evil decree. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now watch it. A decree has the force of law backing it up. It could be physical law and it could be spiritual law. A decree also is a declaration of what to happen or what to take place. As a child of God, the Bible describes us, describe us as kings and priests unto the law. So we also have the power to establish decrees or to revoke. So if there are stones of evil decrees, over any aspect of our lives we have the power as a child of god to take away the decree or to revoke that decree we should be like our lord jesus christ who also established a decree in some instances in the bible and in some areas he revoked the decree but this morning what we want to do is to take away any evil decree even from our lives in any way the enemy has rolled a stone of evil decree over your business your marriage your fruitfulness your enlargement your favor if your amen can be loud it is taken away in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God is again evil decrees. Most especially from the satanic realm. In Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1. He said woe unto them. That decree unrighteous decree. That is evil decree. He said, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and the right grievousness which they have prescribed. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree. The Bible said, As the father Jesus said, As the Father sent me, so have I sent you. So if the scripture says, Woe unto them that decree or righteous decree you also have the responsibility
to take away the stone of evil decrees over your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There are some people that made evil decrees in the Bible. In Acts 23, 12 to 14, some guys gathered together. They said, we will not eat. We will not drink until we keep all. Ladies and gentlemen, that is an evil decree. I pray for you. No matter where they have decree that you will die, I take away the storm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So there are evil decrees of death. There are evil decrees of sickness. They are stones rolled on situations, circumstances, and destiny. And they must be taken away. I speak as a servant of the living God. You evil decree, you evil stone of evil decree over individuals, over men and women, over nations, be taken away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In First in Kings chapter 19, 1 to 2, a woman rose up there called Jezebel and issued an evil decree. She rolled a stone of evil decree over the destiny of the servant of God Call Elijah. And she said, May a God do unto her and more if she doesn't bring down the head of Elijah. And she meant it. And Elijah had to run away. That was an example of evil decree. Either you know about it or not, in any way they have put the stone of evil decrees over your life, it is taken away. In the name of Jesus. In Exodus chapter 1, 15 to 16, a decree was issued against the destiny of little children there, including the prophets of God called Moses. Herod issued a decree that all the children should be killed. But Moses escaped that decree miraculously. I pray for you by the hand of God. Every evil decree of death, decree of sickness, decree of plague is taken away over your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, they also made a decree in Matthew 14, 6 to 9 and verse 10 concerning the man of God called John the Baptist. And a decree was given that his head should be brought to Herodias and a daughter. And because that stone of evil decree, decree was not taken away, the head of John the Baptist was removed. I pray for you. Whosoever is targeting your destiny and your glory, they shall fall for your sake. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, you can take this tone of evil decree away. In any situation. In Isaiah 38. An evil decree was issued. Against Ezekiah. That. He will die. But Ezekiah did something. He prayed unto the Lord. So that the stone. Of evil decree. Of death. Can be taken away from his life and it happened like that let me read for, for you the Bible said in those days was 
Ezekiah seek unto death. And Isaiah came to him, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Ezekiah turned his face towards the wall and pray unto the Lord. Then in verse 4, the Bible say, said, Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Ezekiah, Thus hear the Lord, the God of David thy father, have heard thy prayer, have seen thy tears, behold, I will add to thy days fifteen years. That evil decree of death was taken away. Hallelujah. And that is the exact thing that will happen as you decide to take away any stone of evil decree over any department of your life. I pray the stone of evil decree of coronavirus is run away is taken away in the name of jesus Amen. it's time to pray rise on your feet and let's go into prayers worship the lord in the beauty of his holiness glorify his name glorify his name Glorify his name. What are you going through? My husband does not understand. After all my I'm getting old. This, this is like my eighth time child. at the end I'm of the right man. Lord, I'm so I jumped again. I really need oh, to why? To talk to my parents this doesn't just understand. It. I'm what tired. Is is Come for prayers and counseling at the Redemption Glory Assembly located at 13 Lamidia Monola Street off AIT Road, Aedon Bus Stop, every Tuesday at 10 a.m. For inquiries, call 0815. 712-6636 For there is nothing too difficult for our God to do.